the present video is uh, the last video on the theoretical concepts in the topic of uh, electronic devices. It is based on uh, MOSFETs and their operation. Few more uh, videos on the solution to typical grid problems will be uploaded. So we'll start uh, with the MOSFETs. Uh, MOSFETs, uh, the full name is Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor MOSFET. There are other names to MOSFETs are Insulated Gate Field Effect Transistor or Metal Insulator Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor or Metal Oxide Semiconductor Transistors. The uh, these uh, MOSFETs uh, find applications in VLSIs like microprocessors and semiconductor memories. Uh, there are two types of uh, MOSFETs. One is the D MOSFET, that's a depletion MOSFET, and the other is enhancement MOSFET. The MOSFET basically has uh, uh, a MOS diode and two PN junctions placed adjacent to it. Uh, it was demonstrated uh, first in 1960. It's a basically a four terminal device having source, drain, 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 gate and substrate. Uh, this device has a very low, a low power consumption device and it's a high yield of production. That means uh, uh, there is a yield of these devices when they are produced in mass is high. So there are two kinds of uh, MOSFET circuits. One is the N-channel MOS and the P-channel MOS. Now we'll uh, talk about the enhancement uh, uh, MOSFET of N-channel type. The uh, construction for this uh, MOSFET is uh, given here. Uh, there is a uh, lightly doped uh, P substrate block and on which uh, two heavily doped N regions are uh, diffused and uh, then there is a silicon dioxide dielectric layer over the substrate and uh, there is a metallic uh, contact for the gate and uh, drain uh, uh, this is this uh, this uh, metal oxide and semiconductor this forms a mass diode this is forming the metal oxide semiconductor MS mass diode and uh, uh, this uh, SI2 dielectric uh, uh, gate terminal drain is, uh, uh, if you consider drain to be positive with respect to source as being indicated here, uh, the two uh, n-type sub-regions here, regions and the substrate, and this is the substrate, they form back to back PN junction. That means this is one PN junction, this another PN junction and this is connected through the substrate resistance. This is the basic uh, construction of the device. The uh, symbol uh, for these uh, uh, MOSFETs is, uh, this is a channel and this channel is broken. That means uh, it's in three parts, it's not a continuous channel. So broken line channel for the MOSFETs. And uh, uh, substrate is normally connected to, uh, uh, the source is connected to substrate as being indicated here. Arrow uh, is from P-type substrate to N-type of channel. Since so N-channel MOSFET indicates inside. And uh, we can observe here the gate is 
isolated from the channel. This is a channel and this is a gate. They are isolated. That's why it's an insulated gate. And D MOSFET. And uh, D MOSFET uh, is uh, depletion uh, MOSFETs. Uh, they have they have continuous uh, channel. That means depletion MOSFETs do not have discrete channel. They have a continuous channel. Uh, that is the only change in the symbol of uh, depletion MOSFETs. Now uh, we will see the operation of uh, uh, the MOSFET. Uh, the operation for the MOSFET is uh, uh, we can again uh, see the similar uh, structure here to n-type region diffuse into substrate and the gate uh, uh, is taken positive greater than threshold voltage and uh, uh, drain voltage and the source is uh, connected to the ground and substrate is also grounded. So positive voltage is applied to gate uh, causing inversion layer. So there is a inversion layer is caused. Number one is first source is grounded so Vs is 0, Vg is greater than Vt that is uh, greater than threshold and Vd the drain voltage is small. Uh, there is an uh, electron flow through the channel from source to drain and there is a uh, current uh, there is a drain current for the values of Vd and uh, this channel acts uh, like a resistor this is a linear region so though this is the operation in this region the other is for uh, again the source is zero while the uh, gate voltage is greater than Vt greater than threshold voltage but Vd the drain voltage is greater than V saturation Vd sat value when it's a greater than Vd sat value uh, then uh, inversion layer thickness uh, uh, becomes zero at the drain point uh, it's being indicated here and this uh, pinch up point and that is at y is equal to L this uh, pinch up point and at this pinch up point uh, normally you notice that P is the pinch up point and uh, there is a uh, current uh, which has having the maximum value at this point now when Vd is increased uh, further beyond Vd set the saturation value uh, the ID the rain currents remain same and uh, this saturation region comes as indicated here this saturation region comes the major change here is that this uh, channel length further reduces like this so although there is not major change uh, uh, due to in decrease of uh, uh, decrease of uh, channel length, but due to some effects, there are some effects. The output uh, current slightly increases here. Drain current increases slightly, and this ID increase gives rise to reduction in the output impedance of this device. So this is uh, what is the operation of this uh, device and these dotted uh, portions are showing the depletion layer here for different uh, biasings. Uh, now we can see the drain current um, uh, that is drain characteristics that is drain to various uh, value for different values of gate to source what is this? and uh, what we observe here uh, for VS, VGS equals zero, 0 uh, there is no idea and the ID here uh, uh, the transfer characteristics uh, we can see here this ID versus VGS is the transfer characteristics that means for VGS is equal to 0 here there is no ID and the ID is given by K VGS minus VGS threshold whole squared here you observe the value of K is there which is a constant uh, there is no uh, there is no uh, uh, IDSS type of term here which exists in a junction fact. Okay. Now uh, we'll see the depletion uh, MOSFETs. Uh, depletion enhancement type MOSFET also exists. Uh, the only difference here is uh, the see the construction. Uh, the additional channel is uh, fabricated here. Likely to open channels is uh, already present and when VDS is drain to source voltage is positive ID flows 
even when Vs is zero. Even when Vs is zero, there is a current ID. ID flows in the uh, depletion. So, so when Vgs is negative, some charge carriers uh, are driven out. Char charge carriers are driven out from here, and the uh, depletion region is created. And this increases in channel resistance, so the value of ID, the drain current, decreases for G negative values. So there is a plot of the drain current uh, versus uh, Vds. And uh, what we find here, for VGS positive, uh, this operates in the enhancement mode. This is the top portion here. This is the enhanced characteristic for enhanced mode. And this is for the down characteristics for depletion mode of operation of the uh, MOSFET. Uh, now the uh, corresponding drain equation uh, is the corresponding equation for the, uh, for the transfer characteristics. So ID is equal to IDSS, IDSS 1 minus VGS of VGS above whole squared. This has IDSS value similar to what exists in uh, junction facts. Now, uh, so uh, in depletion mode, it's normally on MOSFETs. Okay. Now, uh, we'll uh, uh, observe, uh, we'll see uh, the uh, various uh, points uh, which can be further reviewed uh, on the MOSFET, whatever we have discussed. Uh, the point is, uh, number one, uh, uh, the core component of MOSFET is a MOS diode, which is said to be uh, heart of the MOSFET. Uh, the uh, threshold voltage is the most important parameter of the MOSFET, enhancement MOSFET since it operates uh, when the gate to source voltage is greater than the threshold. Uh, mostly we observe silicon MOSFETs are uh, most important for fabrication of uh, VLSI circuits. Uh, the reason being SiO2 material is a good quality uh, uh, layer, uh, dielectric layer and uh, there is a stable silicon silicon oxide interface and it is used for manufacture of semiconductor memory so like DRAM, SRAMs, etc., and microprocessors. CMOS is a device which is fabricated uh, with NMOS and PMOS combinations, and it has a great advantage of having very low power consumption. So it's a very popular device in MOSFETs. Now junction fits, uh, fits versus MOSFETs, how they compare? Junction fit operates only in depletion mode, while the MOSFET operates in both depletion and enhancement mode. MOSFETs have uh, much higher input uh, impedance as compared to junction fits. MOSFET impedance typically value at 10 power 15 ohms are greater. And junction fit rate characteristics is flatter than MOSFET characteristics. Now uh, we compare the uh, P channel versus N channel. What we observe here, uh, drain current is more for the N channel than the P-channel uh, MOSFETs, it's due to the mobility of the electrons. And transconductors is more in N-channel, so that's still better. And N-channel MOSFET is uh, most common uh, in use, but the P-channel finds application in the CMOS devices, where both N and P-channel devices are used in a complementary form. Thank you.